Okay, to-do lists. Um, to-do lists are fun, aren't they? I've got some tips, actually, practical tips of to-do lists. Uh, but it, it is, what was said was, you know, I'm creating problems to solve, and it's true. Um, but actually, on a practical note, because um, I forget things, I'm trying not to think all the time. Well, sometimes there'll be like a to-do list, but it's like, um, as soon as I write it down and I try and forget it, um, uh, and um, and let it go and not not think not think about it or identify with it, um, and or uh, I'll I'll do this thing and then usually those things might get done, might not, and the other thing I do to do list is it, really those items are what the ego calls special, you know like um, oh it's really really important I have to pay I have to do my taxes today, so obviously that then becomes a thing in the head. Uh, and the, the ego goes, oh, I better write it down and I need to do that at some point today. So for me, it's like more like uh, the trick I found is actually, uh, um, here's a tip. I'm sure everyone will like it. I hope so. Anyway, would you rather God do your taxes uh, or would you or would you rather do your taxes? And the way to get God to do your taxes is to um, is to cancel your belief that you need to do taxes and cancel the idea that um so what that means is then you 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 let go of the idea that you have to do them completely and then what will happen in my experience is when i let go of something like i don't want my ego to do anything it's hard work if my ego has to do the taxes so once i've let go i've cancelled the idea i need to do taxes I, I cancel my fear of my taxes i cancel everything around it usually what happens is i get suddenly what one day or one hour there'll suddenly be a rush of energy and it, and there'll be a flow, there'll be a state of flow. It won't be my thoughts or my ego. And it's suddenly all the taxes get done effortlessly in about half an hour. And it wasn't me that did them. And uh, and uh, and I've just let go of the idea that my ego, I've let go of the idea that my ego has to do them and I'm, I need to worry about them. And it's going to be a great effort and all my fears around them. And then and I let go. And then at some point in my experience, it's quite miraculous. It's like God does them for me. And it was I didn't have to get involved with them and just effortlessly get done very quickly. And, I, and it felt like I didn't do it. So that's my thing on to-do list. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't... Um, <clears throat> so really your to-do lists are just things your ego thinks are important. Um, but if they're important, then <clears throat> I think the useful thing to do with a to-do list is to let it go. Um, because once you let it go, cancel your belief in it, cancel your idea that there's any meaning there, is that my experience is that it, uh, you, you let the miraculous do it for you. Um, but you find out, you know, what is the meaning? Why is my ego giving meaning to this, that it wants to hold these things or make these things important? Um, so... Um, I guess the, that wasn't answering the question directly, but to-do lists, I mean, here's the thing, it's the levels of consciousness. If you're in your head about with a to-do list, you're actually dropping into your ego. So when you, so your ego has to do the two, if you're in your head, your ego will have to do the to-do list, then it will be effort uh, and you'll feel horrible because you're in your head trying to do it. So the more you can let go of it and be out of your head and cancel your idea that you have to do it or that there's any meaning there, you're going up in the levels of consciousness. So here's the thing, like if, if I said to someone like, today I want you to pay your taxes and today I want you to have a walk in the park, you see, what's the difference? Well, most people can walk in the park without being in their head. And and they the day flows by and it's blissful and peaceful and uh, and it's very present but most people if you say to them it's a collective belief like do you, you today is about doing your taxes they're, they're just going to be in their head all day and having a stressful day doing their taxes so but actually there's no difference between walking the park being in bliss and the taxes getting done in bliss except that uh, the the ego wants to make it special so if you had no nothing no special thoughts you couldn't have a to-do list and then God would do everything for you. You see, that, that's the great thing. So if you've got a to-do list, just uh, just cancel it uh, or cancel the meaning around, you know, there, there'll be sub-beliefs you have to get, let go of. So I'm more interested in letting go of why my ego is making up a to-do list and letting it go 
and uh, and it gets done. So, um, uh, but that can be partly due to, I mean, it, it can be an addiction, just like having a list of things to making up a new list. Um, and so it's more like an ego, it's an ego ploy to be in your head all the time making to-do lists and doing to-do lists. So it's like, so that's the addiction to doing. So you're probably stuck in doing this. I want to be in doing all day. I want to be productive. I have a belief that productivity is good. If I don't, if not productive, I'm bad. I could be a belief like that. Or uh, I've got to feel really good if I put a hundred items on my to-do list and get a hundred done today. Then my my life was worth living. So there could be that. Then you want to see what the core belief systems are. It's, it's an addiction to. So you're getting an addictive hit. Like, you know, so it's like you're getting a hit out of being in doing all day long and thinking and making to do lists. Then you want to start cancelling those beliefs because it's actually a clever ploy to be in your head. So if you're out of your head, you're in beingness, you're in flow, you're in infinite, you're in the miraculous. But if you're if your ego is just using that as a way to escape being by always doing and to do lists, then you just want to cancel that idea because actually it's so. It's a very clever mechanism so that you'll never be because you'll always be creating the next. As soon as you're, you finish the to-do to list, it's like a belief, I've got to make another to-do list and then another to-do list. So it's like an infinite trap, really, where you'll be in to-do-ness forever. <laughs> so I wish you freedom from that, uh, that one. Yeah, okay, I'll stop there.